Welcome back to Retro Cave. Today we uh, uh, are looking into the question how the Samsung Neo G9 Odyssey monitor performs when it's not played on in its native resolution but in 21 to 9 or in 60 to 9. In all honesty, I probably have answered this question several times already in my previous videos, but I can totally understand that it's a, a pain in the ass watching through so many videos, so many minutes to find a little answer that you seek. So we are making a dedicated video, especially for this question right here. Okay, first, like always, let's check how the settings are. So as you can see, we are in SDR with 120 Hz and we have local dimming set to high. And for the game, I'm about to show you this setting to high will be um, a good setting as it makes the screen and the sides of the screen very dark. If you are playing a space game, um, then you might want to set the local dimming to low because you will have less blooming then. But for this dungeon crawler game here, local dimming high will be will be perfect. Okay, let's go. Here, as you can see, it looks gorgeous. It looks really good. We have total dark areas. We have good lighting. We have good colors. I must say I really enjoy this monitor on SDR content. And since I play in a dark room, I also not really needing the HDR component with the with the brightness of 2000 nits. But of course I can understand every one of you who says um, this monitor needs to be fixed because when, when you pay that much for it and uh, then it really should deliver everything that it promises. This is a total cool IFD Beholder Dungeon Master like game we have here. And as you can see, the sides of the screen are really dark. We are in a dark room, no lights, and you can't see anything. It looks like a 16 to 9 monitor and not like a 32 to 9. And I'm enjoying this as much as on a CRT monitor. And this is really a big compliment for me for, for the screen. Uh, let me show you how this all looks when we turn local dimming off, just so you have a comparison. Okay, I've also adjusted the camera and made it brighter so we can see it better. So watch now what happens when I turn local dimming to off. Well, as you can see, now you have your average gaming monitor with lit sides and well if you play in 16 to 9 like we do here then i think that's really disturbing to have such lit sides then okay let's maybe set it to low to just see if we can spot the faint backlight that we have in low setting, but I think it's too dark still. But trust me, it's there. There's a th there's a faint backlighting on all the time in low. Only when you set it to high, then it will be total dark. The advantage of the faint backlighting is of course that you have less of pluming in, like I said before, in star field simulations or space games, while you have maximum blooming when you put it too high. Okay, we are outside the game now, and I've prepared my screensaver to try and show you the blooming that I talk about. We are now in setting high. I'm sure it's not so easy to spot, but maybe maybe it's visible. I'll try to zoom in a little. Yeah, it's hard to see, but I but it's there. OK, 
Okay, let's change to low setting. Now the backlighting has turned itself on and we have less blooming. I'll see it with my eye. I hope the camera catches it and you see it too. I'm not sure though. <laughs> All right, let's turn it back to high to have a comparison. Yeah, now the camera is in focus. And you can see the blooming again. Well, maybe we turn it off to see it then. So now the whole screen is visible as you can see. And of course blooming is gone, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's that. Let's turn it to higher one more time. and go back to desktop for another test I would really love to show you. This is now Legend of Grimlock part two. And as you can see, we are in full resolution, still SDR of course. And now we'll change to 21 to nine. And here we are. As you can see, we have our black sides again, total black. Let's load the game. This is also a very beautiful game. Uh, we have not now not only dungeons anymore, but also outside world in this part too. And we start on a beautiful beach with very nice colors, if I may say so. And as you can see here, you see nothing. <laughs> it's dark, of course. Also, I mean, with this picture, who, who needs uh, HDR in this game, at least? I mean, of course, this is not an HDR game. I, I know this. It's just beautiful. We're going to the water here and then we'll make more resolution change tests. Let's change it to 16 to nine now. Or maybe let's just do um, four to three or 16 to 10, 16 to 10. Let's see if this works. Always takes a bit. And here we are. The uh, screen is even um, uh, narrower, s smaller, but you still see nothing beside it. Right, now we'll do 16 to 9. Here we go. When this game was done, it was done with this resolution in mind, 16 to nine. But of course, it also looks totally nice in full screen. 32 to 9. 
Look at those colors. Just nice. Right. Now um, we are going to change to 240 hertz because there's something important that I've also got asked a few times that I wish to show here. First change. And this will now also turn on HDR, as you can see. Total different picture. We are currently in HDR standard mode. Let's just turn local dimming to auto. So we have everything set up right. Right. And um, this is, uh, if, if I now change to three, uh, 21 to 9, 3440 times 1440, it won't work. Take a look. As you can see, we are back to the to where we were. It didn't change. Still 240 hertz. And if I show you uh, the menu now, then you'll see the resolution is even gone. Now the game also saw, all right, this resolution is no longer supported. Sixteen to nine still works, as you see. And so does, of course, full screen. All right, let's go quickly to the uh, first part again, so we can compare that too. We are still in 16 to 9, as you see. As you see, the colors are different. Um, well, I must say I did like the, uh, it better before, but this is personal taste, of course. We are now in full screen, 32 to 9. This works. Here. And if we want to go back to 21 to 9 again, we have to go to 120 hertz. And even then, we need to change the resolution one time in the game, so the game checks for resolutions again and realizes that it now supports 21 to 9 again. And we also have those beautiful warmer darker colors back that at least I like now we are 16 to 9 but take a look now our 21 to 9 resolution has come back okay well I think that's that's it for now and I hope I answered some of the questions so I definitely recommend the monitor if you wish to play games in non-native resolutions on it you can do this it's great it works thank you for watching bye bye your retro cave